girl. Hi. Hey guys, Game Key here after a little family moment. Just wanted to talk to you guys about streaming mainly as a partner and tournaments. Okay, you guys see a lot of these big tournaments happening all over Twitch or Hitbox or Esports or what have you. If you're not in Esports on a professional team of some kind, then you're a big, you know, internet celebrity. You know, either you're huge on YouTube and you came over to Broadcasting Live or you started out on Twitch and you're huge like Lyric, Dan's Gaming, Man vs. Game, etc, etc. Uh, if these folks who always seem to be in the tournaments of some kind for cash, $10,000 or more, essentially, you know, these game companies are like, uh, we're going to approach only the big streamers and we're going to approach this happens rarely those who have been playing our game continuously you know the top 20 or 60 or 100 streamers who have been playing you know our game arc survival of the fittest tournament the first one was a prime example of this where you had broadcasters who were not even known yet they were not even partnered on twitch you know they had like 40 50 viewers well, you had uh, Dark Dolphin, and I can't remember the other guy right now. Essentially, they won. They got their name out there in the community, and guess what? They're partnered, they're huge, and ARK became their game. So, it's, it's stuff like that that does happen. But usually, these tournaments take place with only the bigger streamers. So, I wanted to let you guys know that, yeah, this kind of only happens to the known people. Um, to get into a tournament, you're lucky if you're a brand new streamer and you have no viewership or a YouTuber with absolutely nothing uh, to back him or you have no social media. Um, that's It's one of those things. You're, you're lucky. You're that 1% who gets you know a yes man in a company or a tournament yeah. and they're just like yeah we're gonna bring this nobody in you know he's probably just gonna die and lose whatever and you win the whole tournament Down. it happens yeah. it happens um however it's it's only it's usually only the top broadcasters and the top youtubers and such so you need to take that into consideration not everyone gets into these tournaments not everyone folks it's something i wanted to let you guys know because well everyone needs to quit fucking griping about it i'm fucking tired of it just saying guys just saying and i'm fucking tired of being that guy who puts in for tournaments left and right and they're like oh we don't think we got enough codes you clearly state in your thing that i'm applying for that you guys have tons of codes but I can't get one. I, I can't even get like three to give away to my community. Even after I bought the game itself. Think about that, guys. Think about that. You only get things if you're huge. You only get huge if your community reaches out. If your community grows exponentially overnight. Or your community is there for you. You know, your moderators. Uh, your... your your working team, creating content, creating animations, effects, special effects for you to use, creating stuff for you, or you have the knowledge and know-how, and as a one-man team, you can run a whole show that literally takes some, some folks five to 30 people to do. That knowledge is vast, huge, and some people would covet all of that. I'm here to, to say, well, that sucks that if you need people to do it, but if you're that one man, you're that 1% who has all that. And good luck and kudos to you, sir or ma'am. That, that sucks as well. Um, the other part is, you know, again, when it comes to community, if you're a YouTuber, you spread the word, bring tons of people, and help that channel grow ridiculously you know something goes viral something goes ridiculously 
out there and and becomes published everywhere it's it's insane uh, however you know when it comes down to it are you doing it by yourself probably not if you are you have the money to buy subscribers buy viewers buy 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 and buy that's a lot of money some folks can do it a lot of us regular normal folks who do this every day cannot um, however you know folks like PewDiePie Markiplier I love watching them um, boogie 2988 these guys don't drop cash they why would they their community is what is what has grown them you know I would definitely check those channels out you know have fun help Captain Sparkles makes a fucking flashy show I like watching him um, <laughs> it's just one of those things guys it's you either can make it or not don't quit your day job don't try and just you know think overnight that you can do this as a full-time gig without any consequences or repercussions uh, imagine you know having a, a family like myself you know wife two children and wondering how the hell you're paying bills next month I don't have any problems paying my bills guys but still the fact of the matter is why would you immediately go online and try to say hey I do this full-time I make tons of money you can do it too here's exactly the steps and here's how to make it work it doesn't happen guys it does not just to let you know I'm being real with you for a moment unless your video goes viral and it's you know it's questionable sometimes and it's either good or bad publicity a lot of folks will look at that video and either say oh it's great or oh this is a piece of shit that's that's the way to look at it guys and I don't mean to crush any hopes and dreams my dreams to make it big one day hell but guess what <laughs> I'm being real about it this isn't a full-time gig for me this isn't a way I make money this isn't what I do for a living I love doing this stuff guys I love presenting videos to you guys here on YouTube I love presenting videos in live broadcast to you on twitch uh, twitch ends up going down a lot and it's it's one of the most frustrating things I want to sit here and talk to you guys about probably some you know non PC topics I want to talk to you guys and not have to be PC with you 24 7 fuck that Hell no. I don't want to be PC 24-7. I want to be me. So, think about it, games. Or, er, guys, gals. The, the next time you want to see a streamer, a gamer, someone who's going to be honest and real with you and share in the joys, the happiness, the fun, the sad, the bad, and the ugly, come check us out. I'm 100% honest with you guys 24-7. Unfortunately, you know, I can't have all of my crazy content on Twitch. Some of it I do have to pull back. That's why we have YouTube, guys. This is why we have YouTube. And I can't wait to see you guys more and more because your guys' feedback, your likes, your dislikes, your positive and negative comments in all of our videos, anything and everything, guys, does help us out. It means a lot. It tells us what you like and don't like. It tells us what you guys want to see more of. It does all of that for us. All of that. And honestly, crushing dreams. It's not what I do. But sometimes each and every one of us needs a reality check. So think about coming out and hanging with us. I'm here to entertain you guys. I'm here to be real with you. And honestly, I just want to have fun. So let's hang out together. Let's play some games. Can't wait to see you if you're live. And I hope you guys come check us out when we're live. Thanks again for your time watching this. I know your time is precious. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone or hurt anyone's feelings. I'm being honest with you. Thank you and have a great day wherever you are.